Hey guys, welcome back to the layout. So this is the long-awaited uh, truck video or truck showcase, I guess you could say, whatever it may be. So I, uh, I'm going to show you guys the future, uh, well, more or less the the present day trucks I have that I've made myself for the the year from 2007 to like 2015 ish around that range, um, and then what I have that currently goes in the layout, so like 1980s and up kind of thing. Now, again, this isn't all the trucks I've done. This is a, a vast majority that I think I've put a ton of work into. So, that being said, they're kind of like the showcase trucks that I would say I would show off, essentially. Um, and the one thing I will say is a common theme you guys are going to see. I think there's like four trucks that, you know, aren't of this company is Suburban Propane. Now, my father worked for Suburban Propane for like the last 40 years. My grandfather worked for Suburban Propane. I worked for them a little bit. Um... So I just want to show you guys what, you know, what, what they kind of have. I always liked the history of Suburban, so I always thought it was kind of cool to hear all the stories and everything and how this company went from this huge thing that did everything itself to kind of like, you know, like every other company now kind of has a little more outsourcing. So um, so we'll start over here with the modern day stuff. So this is a Bowley or Walters uh, International. Um, this is a custom 3D printed barrel from somebody on eBay. I was able to find one, actually. I just took the barrel off of it. Uh, so what I do with these particular trucks is I just use the chassis from Bowley. I use a, I use a long chassis, so like generally the box truck is what's preferable. Um, I cut it off at the rear. I use the utility truck. I take the parts off that thing from Walters, and you guys can see that's the deck and everything. And then I have the fenders from Walters as well. Uh, those usually come with the box trucks. So you can usually get just the box truck and utility truck, and you should be okay to do a propane truck. And then uh, all the extra little details, so the hose reel, the meter box, the deck... We got the wheel trucks, all that stuff. So if you guys want to do propane trucks, that's a it's a very easy way to do it. I mean, I found pretty great success in these. Oh, this is not as detailed. Uh, again, it's still stuff I got to work on, but I'm not putting into the priorities because it's modern day. Um, so that's one of them. This is the GMC. Fun fact: uh, Suburban Propane only had one of these in the entire country. Uh, the guy who used to drive GMCs when they had GMCs, you know, uh, a lot more GMCs. Um, before 2007 came around, they uh, he they asked him, you know, oh, do you like the GMCs, whatever, and joking with the fleet manager, and all of a sudden you got the only GMC left in the country. So he was the only guy that ever had one of the new, the, one of these types of GMCs, what they called elephant ears, if you guys know this picture, but the uh, the gigantic mirror is why they nicknamed it that. So this is uh, obviously what it's based off of, same type of thing. This one is a wood barrel though, so I use balsa wood, sanded down the ends, and this is what I came up with. So it's not great in the realm of realism, but it, it does the job. So next we got an international again, same thing. This one was a demo truck though that I based it off of. So it has like chrome accents and everything that you guys can see. It's just silver metallic paint, that's really it. And it has you know, a couple extra like strobe lights and stuff, nothing fancy. Then we got the boom truck. Again, Bowley or Walters, whatever it is now is uh, where I got this from, Herpa Crane. The back, you can get the rest of the parts on eBay and stuff, you know, if you guys take a look. Uh, propane tanks, so the general just, I'll spin it around real quick so you guys can see the other side. Um, again, sorry about the lighting, guys. I don't want the best lighting down here, but this is kind of what we're gonna be stuck with. And then we got the uh, Central Vermont Public Service Power Truck. Now again, this is just because I like these trucks, so this is why I did that partic this particular brand. Normally, I don't really go outside of my era, but you know, this is kind of what I'm stuck with. So, you guys can see, some chains and some detail and everything. So, nothing too crazy. Like I said, I'm not going to print up decals or anything for just one truck that, you know, I'm never going to really use. So, uh, these were just done to to look good and uh, something to do, really. Then, now uh, we got the International Cargo Star. This is a 3D printed Shapeways truck. This is all Athern and the Herpa Crane. So, like I said, you guys can pretty much find everything that I use uh, pretty regularly. Um, and again, paint, painted as the... Uh, First suburban propane color, so there's a red cab tan body. Then we got the Ford C. This is another Atherin truck. You guys can see it's pretty prototypical. Just suburban propane decals is the only custom thing. Red fenders, red bottom. You know the uh, the general. Um, next up is something that's based off of what my dad used to originally drive. These are transport trucks. So what suburban needs to do is transport all their own equipment. So meaning trucks, trailers, anything like that. They load up onto these flat trucks and. Guys are driving across the country, up and down the East Coast and the Midwest and everything. So this was one of the original ones. 
Um, now, again, he did not have a Mac R, but this is what I could really find that's that's good without building a tractor. So I thought this was a good good uh, get. So you guys can see a little customization. Got the air hoses and electric lines and stuff, and uh, the deck obviously for the trailer here. So I'm going to set him aside over here for one second while I get the rest of the tractors out of the way. Uh, next is the company that still does the transport service for Suburban. Now, if you guys don't know, Suburban does not do rail cars anymore. So if you guys are modeling present-day rail cars and have Suburban propane, sorry, you're out of luck. But uh, they use LP Gas, which is a company that takes the gas from rail to, tr to, uh, to their locations. So I have to do I do have to get stickers made up for these and same with the, the trucks. But they use uh, propane transports, so they use Mac R models at the eighties at the time. It's a green Mac R model. Some of them generally have sleepers, and then they use a white transport trailer. So this was just something that I made up again. Again, this is majority of the stuff is this stuff is is bought, nothing real customization there. This guy is a Athern. Now, I don't do a, a lot of decals, and again, this was something that I just did with the computer so you guys can see the decals and stuff, probably, the, the logos and stuff probably aren't the best, but they work for me. Um, this is a Athern Ford, or Freightliner cab over truck. Again, this was based off a real picture and everything too. Uh, like I said, I never saw any of this stuff really. So this was uh, kind of where I'm at. You know, I still got to add the decals and everything else to it, but this is where we're at with the project, at least. Um, so this was the transport Suburban used to have before they went from from these guys to LP. So these are the original transports. Um, you know, they had Max like these two so that you could you know model if you're going to do something like that. So just something to think about. I'm mean, going to just put him over here. Next up, we have uh, our 1980s Bobtails, what they what they refer to as a propane truck. Put that guy up here. This is a Ford C. Um, so I used a Athern water tank from the cement mixers for the model the propane tank. So these trucks actually run a propane, not gas. Uh, because of the shortages in the 80s, this was this made the most sense for them. They could just take the hose off the rear and hook it right up and fill their own truck up. So again, same thing as the other trucks. This is just on an Athern body. You guys can see nothing, nothing too fancy about it. Um, but pretty pretty typical so uh, then the other thing we got here now I have the last thing, truck I'm going to model is a Ford Louisville this is an international um, so these are what they had uh, again this one's pretty weathered down um, trying to show you guys so uh, the hose reels were not a thing in the 80s either they came about in like 82 83 I think so the beginning of the 80s it was just hose in a bed so I tried to model as much as possible. Now again, the dimples and everything, I really couldn't get out of this barrel, which was kind of annoying to me with these two, but you know what, we gotta get as close as we can. It's all about having fun, looking the part, right? Uh, so next is uh, Herpa or Trident, I'm not entirely sure, I don't remember the name of it, but this is just a little rack truck. They use these, uh, you know, transport little tanks around and stuff. The service guys generally do this. So, you know, if you have a problem with, I smell gas in my house, whatever it is, these are the guys gonna come out to your house and do it. Then we got uh, another one, same thing. You know, I just modeled a crane here out of wood and uh, some some cloth and pipe here. Again, same thing, white body, red rim, red accents, the whole suburban look. Uh, next is actually a project that's pretty special to my heart. So my dad in 77, when he started doing all these trips to New England and stuff, which is really what we got the inspiration to model this area, he actually bought his own pickup. Uh, I think it was a Chevy 77 pickup, and he had a camper on it. And he told me all these stories about him doing this by himself. So I decided to recreate the pickup. And if you guys will never notice in my videos and stuff, this thing's usually floating around. And that's supposed to be like my dad, you know, at the time period in the 80s and stuff floating around. So this is a 3D printed Shapeways camper I was able to, to get. And it's a pretty much the same thing. So I even did the little decal designs and everything. And then the mirrors and everything that he had. So that is literally his pickup from the time period. So I thought that was a neat thing to do. I also have a Chevy Suburban uh, that he bought in 89 as well. That we have on the layout as well. It's usually parked at Suburban Propane. Since he works at Suburban, I figured it was appropriate, right? Uh, next up, we got two of the same trucks almost. These are uh, trucks and stuff. Kenworth tractors. Um, that I used Ralph Raquel models. Um bodies on and I just painted them red it's a generic dump truck just for construction scenes or anything I'm doing so um, 
I added the tarps and everything, and you guys can see it's, it's pretty, pretty plain, but interesting, to say the least. So that's one. That's a dirty one. This is the clean one. So, I mean, this guy takes a little more care of his truck or something, you know. So you guys can see. So, looks pretty good. Um, and then we got the last thing I'm going to show you guys is a, another Ralph Raquel body. This is a garbage truck. Uh, I, this one is super detailed. Uh, you can see that I have the hydraulic lines coming out of the top, going to the rear. This is where the dump truck will get picked up. We have the hook, trash bags in the back. We have shovels, brooms, the typical stuff the garbage man would use, a little light on top. The guy is actually on the back. And then we have the uh, all the lines going up to the top for the for that. I have to get some decals or something for the truck cab. Actually, the, you know, it's a municipal garbage truck, so get a seal or something on the front. Uh, this is an Atherin body underneath, like I said, Ralph Raquel body on top. But, uh, so, you guys can see. I did have to make my own bumper on this guy because it was a cement mixer truck from Atherin, so I made my own bumper there. But, um, so, this one's supposed to be pretty new, so I keep it pretty clean. But, um, but yeah, guys, so that's, like I said, majority of the trucks that I've custom built over the years. Um, obviously there's like a ton more on the layout really, uh, but again, I, a lot of them are just kind of cut and splice, so like they're pretty plain and Jane, you know, like the Chevy Trailblazers or whatever with plows on them and stuff. Pretty Vermonty things, um, that you find around here. But this, to me, is if you put the time and effort into it, it makes the layout really feel like it's in the time period, so... Having the age appropriate things like the trucks and everything really does make a difference. So if you guys have the investment and for my particular thing, this is where I learned a lot of tricks and stuff before I started working on locomotives, which are a ton more expensive than the fifteen dollar bowling truck. So or whatever it is. Anyway guys, uh that's pretty much it for the little quick showing here. Um so if you guys want to see anything else, please let me know. I'll kinda maybe do another truck tour or another go around. See what maybe like the rare maintenance away stuff instead of suburban propane. Um, stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Thank you.